probability of randomly picking a ball. The question here is, a bag contains five red balls, three blue balls and two green balls. Find the probability of not picking blue ball. So it is basically not picking. It's not just picking a blue ball. It is in fact not picking a blue ball, right? So that is the question for us. How do we do these kinds of questions? So let's start with making type of diagram for us. How many red balls do we have? We have five red balls, right? So let's randomly put five red balls, right? So we got five red balls. How many blue balls? Three, right? So let's put three in our bag and there are two green balls. So we have two green balls here. So in all, how many do we have here? In all, we have five plus three plus two and that gives us 10. So that happens to be what? This is total number of outcomes, right? This is total number of possible outcomes, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that if you pick something from this bag, it could be either of these 10 balls, right? So these are all possible outcomes, right? So there are 10 outcomes. Now the question is, find the probability of not picking blue ball. So how will you do that? So we can have two approaches here. So that is, we can find probability of picking blue ball and then from there get the probability of not picking blue ball. So that is one of our approach. So that seems to be good. Let's do that. So first approach we'll do is probability of picking blue ball. So we say probability of picking blue ball is what? So it is how many number of blue balls are there? One, two, three, right? And what are total number of balls? Ten. So three over ten is the probability of picking a blue ball. But what we want is of not picking. So, so probability of not blue is what? It should be one minus three over ten, correct? 1 minus 3 over 10. That gives us 10 over 10 minus 3 over 10 and that is 7 over 10. So that is our answer for the given question. This is one way of doing it. Let me show you another way of showing, doing the same thing, right? Alternate way is, in this particular case, we have three kinds of balls. That is, we have red, blue and green. So if you don't pick blue, what will you pick? You will pick either red or green. Do you see that? So what we can do is we can find probability of picking red plus probability of picking green, add them up, right, and get the answer. So let's do that way also. Probability of picking red is 5 out of 10, right? And that of green is, there are two green balls, so 2 out of 10. So which gives us 7 over 10. So we get exactly the same answer. Do you see that? So when a question is like this, you could do it either way. You get the same answer. Remember, probably probability of picking one of these is what? Sum of all the three, which will be one hundred percent, right? One of these, of course. You are picking the balls, which is one of these. Now, picking only red will give you number of red divided by total, as we have seen here. Picking green will be 2 out of 10 and blue is 3 out of 10. When you add these three, you should get 1. So, we know that we can find solution of these questions, let me repeat here, in two different ways. To find probability of not picking means 1 minus picking, right? Because total sum is always 1. So that is one approach, which is a good approach. The second is, if you don't pick blue, what are you going to pick? all others. So what is the probability of picking all others? That could be not blue, right? So how many balls are not blue? That is the third approach. That is probability of picking others. Others means not blue, right? So we have only three blue balls and all others are seven. It will be seven over ten. So that is another way of getting the same answer. So probability is such a topic that we can always get so many different ways to do it. And it's all up to you, depending on situation, how you 
actually solve the problem, right? And all solutions are correct. Remember that. So let's move on and take some cases where we are doing not just picking one ball but two. This case which we have considered is a simple event since we are just doing one event at a time. If we pick two balls then it becomes two events at the time and we'll call that a compound probability questions. So we'll graduate into compound probability questions now. Thank you and all the best.